Hi folks, welcome back to my Noob to Pro Israel Tech Grind series, where I will be documenting my journey from a total beginner to an absolute menace. If you are new to this series, please make sure to start from video number one. If anyone has any suggestions on how to improve my gameplay, please share them in the comments below. This commentary has been added post-recording. If you prefer a non-commentary version, click on the card above. The long-awaited Alpha Strike update is here, folks. And with it, the F-20A Tiger Shark has been released, which I will be covering in my USA Tech Tree grind series soon. The amount of tears and toxicity at the high-ranked chats is unbelievable. People are so butthurt by others paying $75 for a premium plane. If I can afford it, why do you care? It's honestly low-key hilarious. They are so baffled by seeing a level 21 F-20A player. If they were the enemy team, I could have rage baited them even more. Look at this fog of doom, by the way. It makes me want to climb more just to be on the safe side. The amount of research I had to do for the F-20A took me a whole day of experimenting changing keybinds, messing around with the on-screen keyboard, but now I'm finally satisfied with my setup, and you will see the more minimalistic keyboard on screen within a few days. I still need a bit of time to practice surviving in a rank 12 gameplay. Though the plane has been an absolute pleasure to fly, it handles really well, and the speed is really satisfying. There is a bit of a learning curve if you are a new player like me, but this learning curve applies whenever you hit this battle rank either way. Learning about the different kinds of radars and missile evasion maneuvers has to be learned sooner or later. I'm not that well versed in the different kinds of premiums, but if you are looking for a good USA grinder, and the price isn't an issue, the F-20A is an enjoyable purchase at least for me. Of course, do your research before you buy it, test the plane, see how it handles, and compare it to other premiums you have in mind.
In today's playing card, we will be reviewing the Su-25K from the Soviet fleet. The information on the wiki, at the time of the recording of this video, states that the Su-25K is known for its survivability, anecdotally being able to take a few missile hits without suffering any damage compromising its airworthiness, though this ability is inconsistent and should not be relied upon. The 128 flares slash chaff which are launched two of each at a time, provide the Su-25K with the chance to evade missiles. A lack of afterburner increases flare effectiveness, and only more advanced missiles, such as the AIM-9L, at very short ranges, are able to track the aircraft from behind through flares. Chaff will be able to decoy less advanced radar missiles, but in order to defeat more advanced versions, Chaff has to be deployed while notching. The aircraft remains decently controllable upon loss of tail control, wingtips, or an engine. The aircraft remains near fully controllable upon loss of the rudder and occasionally can fly without the vertical stabilizer. Its main cannon is a 30mm GSH 30-2, which is chin mounted. However, it can have four secondary 23mm GSH 23L cannons and two R60MK air-to-air -air missiles. I think this poor player was out of ammo and was returning to the base. So of course that I wouldn't pass this opportunity to go and harass it a bit. His teammate could have saved him if he went to distract me, however he couldn't care less. I was aiming to put down his teammate on the airport, but this also works. It gave me some time to deal with the Hunter F-58. While he was being repaired on the airport, it was enough time for me to take care of his teammate and swoop back to finish the job. I was very satisfied by how all of this turned out. However, my fuel was running low, and I realized I wouldn't have enough to make it all the way back to the base.
Luckily, the game greeted me with the clutch mission accomplished message. Thank you all for watching. Please consider leaving a like if you enjoy this series so far. Subscribe to be in the loop about new videos, and as always, comments with any tips on how to improve are always appreciated. See you all next time.